Hi, and welcome to day two of 30 Days of English. This week we're talking about relationships. First, we're going to talk about family, then friends, then romantic relationships. So today we're talking about family memories. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today I have a special guest to introduce you to. This is my husband, Daniel. Hello. Or do you want to go by Dan? Uh, you can call me Dan. Okay. You would know. Okay. <laughs> so today Dan is going to share some stories about his family with us. And then throughout the course, he's going to also take part in our conversation lessons. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So today we're going to talk about family. And are right. there any interesting, fun, scary, strange family memories that you have that you'd like to share with everyone? Sure. I have a memory of when I was a child. Okay. So when I was maybe nine years old or so, my mother told my brother and I to go to bed. And we went to bed, but just like most children, we wanted to play <laughs> a lot. Course. So we had a bunk bed. So that's a bed in below and a bed on top. And、um, we were playing on the bunk bed, and on the bunk bed there's a railing, and the railing was loose, so you could you could kind of swing it back and forth, and it would make a loud sound, and we thought that was funny. So the scary part of the story is that the railing had nails at the end of it, so when my brother was swinging the the railing back and forth. My face somehow got in the way, and the railing、somehow. smacked me in the face with the nail. So in my bed, I was lying down with blood rolling down my face, and my mom she thought we were just playing. So you were screaming and yeah, mom, help me! Right.、Okay. So I was like, mommy, mommy, <laughs> and my mom said, be quiet up there. <laughs> So she wanted us to go to sleep still. So, like a good child, I went to sleep with blood on my face. So then, later that night, when I was sleeping, my mom came upstairs and saw me sleeping, but I had dried blood all over my face, and she was like, "Ah!" So that was a scary story for my mom, especially I think. Yeah, but, but you, were you hurt?、Uh... Badly? Were you hurt permanently? Was it okay? No, I don't even think there's a scar or anything. It's just、um, it must have been like a very little nail hit my face.、So. You're lucky it didn't hit your eye. Yes, I'm very <laughs> lucky. But it was a very、uh, funny story in hindsight. But for my mother, it was not very funny. Sure, in hindsight, it's okay, but not at the moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, sure. So, how about for you? Do you have any stories? Um, yes. So, one of the stories about my family is also from my childhood, and so I have.、Uh, some of you might know I have a sister, a younger sister, and when we were younger, of course, like every child at Christmas, we didn't want to wait for Christmas to find out what our Christmas presents were. So sometimes we would scheme and plan and try to find a way where we could open our Christmas presents before Christmas. So sometimes a few days before Christmas, our parents would put Christmas presents under the tree just、mm-hmm. to tempt us. <laughs> But while they were outside doing something or asleep at night, my sister and I would go downstairs and open just one or two Christmas presents. But we'd carefully. Pry open the tape and peek inside, and sometimes we pulled it out like oh, and then we put it carefully wait, back. Wait, you took out the whole present sometimes.、Uh, sometimes we did if it was possible、oh、to not mess up the wrapping. Oh, <laughs> very sneaky. Yes, but we had to satisfy our curiosity, <laughs> so we、uh, we would put them carefully back into the the, the wrapping and then put the tape down. But we were worried that maybe on Christmas morning our parents would think, "Oh, why aren't they surprised about their presents?" <laughs> <laughs> so my sister and I would practice making surprised faces. So <laughs> that evening, when we were secretly opening them, we'd practice pretending to open them, like, "Oh, oh, whoa!" Just to practice. 
ridiculous surprised faces because we didn't want anyone to find out that we'd really seen the present ahead of time. <laughs> wow. And it worked. Wow. <laughs> The surprised faces worked. <laughs> yes, yes. So it worked. And Christmas morning, and my sister and I just laughed and laughed because we knew that each other's surprised faces were just fake. <laughs> right. Did your parents think you were seriously laughing? Like, just excited? Oh, of course, of course. They were completely naive and had no idea. <laughs> wow. I think maybe later in life, we confessed and told them, oh, back when we were younger, we used to secretly open the presents, but... I don't even know if they were upset. It's one of those funny stories. <laughs> right, yeah. Oh, yes. Probably not upset anymore. Oh, uh, yeah, they probably didn't care. So thank you for sharing a story about your family. You're welcome. And I hope you enjoyed my story about my childhood as well. And uh, today, thank you for watching day two. It's day two today. And if you are a super English member, make sure that you watch this week's bonus video about family. And now for everyone, I have a question that I want you to answer out loud as best as you can. What is a good memory from your childhood? Or a bad memory or a scary memory like Dan's? <laughs> and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye.